right. The Armadillo Christmas Bazaar, it's back for it's, I don't know, it's been around for a while, but it's back. It's at the uh, Palmer Events Center and joining me this morning is one of the artists, Britt, thank you for coming in. Thanks for having me. Of course. So that being said, why don't you tell people what the event is and how you are involved? So the Armadillo Christmas Bazaar is a fun, festive event. Come look at art. We have, there's tons of music. Yes. So it's a great place to shop for the holidays or shop for yourself and get to do Christmas Austin style. Yes, and you've got some pieces that will be there that people can come purchase. Yes. That being said, why don't you tell people what kind of art you do? So I carve paint. It's a process that I developed. Huh. I layer paint onto a panel till it's like 50 to 80 layers thick. Wow. And then I carve it down to reveal the different colors below. Huh, I've literally never thought or maybe seen this before, but it's, they're gorgeous pieces and people can come purchase them and take them <laughs> home with them for the holidays, for gifts or even themselves. So that being said, you're just one of like 200 artists that mm -hmm. are there. What other types of art can people see? Everything you can imagine and things that you would never think of. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's about right. So, um, I love being a part of the Christmas Bazaar. Um, the entire Armadillo team really cares about the community, mm -hmm. and I feel very grateful to be a part of the event. Yeah, for sure. And that being said, if people want to come, you know, see you, maybe buy some of your art and others, other artists, how can they do that? So the Armadillo Christmas Bazaar is at the Palmer Event Center. Mm -hmm. It lasts until the 23rd, yes. and we are there every day from 11 a.m. till 9.30 p.m. Okay. And there's music, live concerts going on all day, um, lots of events. Check out their website and um, come down. Yeah, there's lots to do, and you get a ticket, you go in, and you get to explore and check out everything. What is your favorite part about it? My favorite part? Yeah. I love... Seeing everyone come in, it's very festive. It doesn't feel like Christmas until I'm at the Armadillo Christmas Bazaar. Oh, and you guys have plenty of time because it goes until the 23rd. So, you know, if you're like me, need some last minute gifts, it's a great place to go check out. Do you have anything else that you want to share with us here this morning? Um, I am just excited to be here. This is this, my family, we all come together. I oh, have a five-year-old and a seven-year-old. Oh my gosh. So we travel as a family and then this is our Christmas in Austin. So if you come down, if my little boy's there, he will be happy to give you a high five. Yes, perfect. And yeah, that being said, you know, not all the artists are local. You traveled from Arizona to come mm -hmm. here and show off some of your work. So yeah, that's, some of the best yeah, artists in the country. So from it's from not just the place. Austin, which I just learned about literally 30 seconds ago. <laughs> so, okay, I would like to check yes. out the Monarch Butterfly real uh -huh. quick. So you can see it's very deep. Wow. There's about 80 coats of paint. That's crazy. And so I carve it down with wood carving tools and get down to all the different color flavors so it gets so much dimension and changes the I mean, it's gorgeous. It. And uh, that being said, how long do you think it takes you? So I layer the paint over four to six weeks. Four to six weeks, okay. <laughs> and then after it's all coated, then I start carving it. And then wow. carving can take anywhere from a couple days to a couple months, depending on how intricate the design is. Okay, wow, so if you come get one of Brit's pieces, just know that the, a lot of love and work goes into them. They're gorgeous. Thank you so much for joining me here this morning and telling us about the Christmas Bazaar, and hopefully you saw a bunch of pieces. Thank you, thank you for having me. Of course.